is the Lowndes County Conference Center. Today is May the 22nd, 2018, 11.30 a.m. And I'm standing in front of the Valdosta Police Department. And I want to draw your attention to the fact that around the state of Georgia, we find that many local, city, county, and federal government buildings do not have a Georgia state flag. And it seems as if though there is an unwritten rebellion after the new state flag was adopted. But I want to commend Chief Childress here at the Valdosta Police Department for showing respect to the governor the National Guard Armory, and the military people that joined the reserves. And when the president called them into active duty, they are part of the active duty force. When these flags are not flown over buildings that are paid by all the taxpayers' dollars, to some of us veterans, I served for 20 years. It is indeed a disgrace. The Valdosta City School did not have the state flag, but I brought it to the attention of the school board on three occasions, and eventually they purchased them, and they are not flying and showing respect to our sons and daughters in uniform. When you go to the Valdosta Museum, look in front of the building and see if there's a Georgia flag, and if not, why not? Why not? Then go to the Lowndes County Superior Courts building, the judicial complex to be more specific, and you will not see a Georgia flag on the flagpole. So once again, I will say, I commend Chief Childress for doing what I think many people in Georgia and the nation would be proud of. Honoring our National Guard Armory and our reserve personnel, not to mention the retired veterans, disabled, and those that lost their lives. Some were serving under the state flag when they lost their life. And around Valdosta, I've noticed a lot of businesses used to have the old Georgia flag, but they refused to publish or post the new one. And while I was here today, I thought I would give credit and honor to whom honor is due. Again, Chief Childress, we want to commend you for your leadership and for setting an example for many other local city, state, and federal agencies here in Valdosta and Lowndes County, Georgia the ghetto free press. We report what others ignore, 
because our sons and daughters are still wearing uniforms to protect this nation against both foreign and domestic enemies. Peace be unto you. This is the Lowndes County Conference Center. This is the Lowndes County Conference Center. This is the Lowndes County Conference Center. There are no black managers in terms of the top positions here. And no one seems to believe that that's a problem in a city that's 51% black. And when we roll around to the flag that are displayed here, we don't see the Georgia flag, we only see the American flag. Yet our sons and daughters join the reserves, the Air National Guard, and this is a disrespect. This is disrespect to members in their armed forces here in the state of Georgia. Did they change it? Did they take the flag down and then replace it because the old Union, old Union Jack flag, as some call it, was no longer flown over the state of Georgia. What does that say to the people, such as myself, veterans, who serve this nation and would love to see our veterans, our National Guard armored personnel, and our reserve people honored by flying the state flag? I believe this is another white mark on the city of Valdosta. And I pray for the day that we can enter the 21st century at a different level. The Ghetto Free Press, we report what others ignore.